flown across most... ...of the settle. When you have a few minutes, this... Thing I You're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in those stories, like we thought? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Well, I suppose that'll make someone laugh. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the Pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds the belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? So you intend to find the truth, and then have that truth confirmed by your peers. 
Unity is a reality born of observation and agreement? It's the scientific method, and I swear by it myself. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. I have something I need to discuss with you. Look, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. The fact that you risked your life to save me, I... I don't know what to say. I appreciate you trying to cheer me up, but I can't get this out of my mind. My only wish is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Barrett's life. He was one of my closest colleagues and a cherished friend. Uh, he always knew how to make me laugh. <laughs> I'll miss him dearly. I don't have to. I blame myself. Our charter at Constellation has always been to analyze the unknown, but rarely at the expense of our members' lives. <laughs> Yet all the while, I've been cavalier about taking risks and pushing the boundaries not appreciating the true cost of my actions. Had I not pushed so hard to pursue the Starborn, perhaps none of this would have happened at all and Barrett would still be alive. No, she wouldn't. But was it worth the cost? Damn it! Why is this happening to us? We're explorers. Our curiosity pushes us to seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits of humankind. Yet in return, this is what the universe throws at us. Beings from God knows where who are trying to murder us. Why? What have we done wrong? No, I refuse to allow Barrett's death to be attributed to bad luck. It isn't fair. The question is, where do we go from here? Do we stop exploring, stop pushing the boundaries, take a more aggressive posture towards the universe? I don't know where to begin. I don't know. We've already suffered such a terrible loss. I can't bear to have it happen again. Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for now. Oh, it was a relief to get all of that out in the open. I'm sorry I got so angry. But I assure you, it's nothing personal. You're the only one I feel comfortable talking with about these things. <laughs> Who knew you had so many incredible uses? Well, we have a long road ahead of us. I suppose it's high time we get back to work.
something you might be interested in. Need some more? there. Time to get moving. Hmm? Yeah, take a look at this.
hydrogen, nitrogen, hydrogen. It's all here. to build something like this.
ever lived at this homestead seemed to have settled in for the long haul.
the word and we'll get underway.
I'll keep an eye out for hostile life forms. to cliff dive today.
good sleep? perhaps, and their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise.
We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. Help. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. I want to 
a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. You might think the Emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won, over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own, that's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Sure you have more questions. I'll tell you everything I can. Different? I never know who you are when I meet a new version. So much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever is in their way. 
All the artifacts are assembled. The device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. discover for yourself here to open the way that is all I ask I hope you see what I have seen you should also talk to your colleagues in constellation I am sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned but I will leave that to you.